This is so exciting, guys. Here we are, early spring. Water temperatures are finally getting in that 57 range. It's warming up, the fish are moving up to spawn. We had a sunny, sunny weekend, and you know that pulled all these fish up. So now we've got the pre-front coming in. This is the perfect conditions, because the fish are already shallow, to throw the dark-colored swim baits. Weedless swim baits in skinny water where you know the fish are spawning. I'm throwing the Boom Boom swim bait. This is a four and a half inch. And I've also got a six inch. And uh, I'm excited because I think we're gonna catch some really nice fish today. All right, so with this technique, because the fish are usually in such skinny water, meaning really, really shallow water, you need to make those really long casts. And uh, it's real important to have a long rod, minimum seven foot six. Um, for me, I'm, I've got this on a seven foot six, medium heavy fin rear by six gill. 8 to 1 ratio reel, 20 pounds straight fluorocarbon. And um, the reason I'm using this uh, Hamars 8 to 1 is because it's so shallow when a fish hits it, and again, this is why you need a long rod, is you need to be able to pick up that slack because a lot of times they hit it and they bull rush right towards you. And if you can't keep up, you're not going to drive that hook in the fish. So, got to have a really fast retrieve reel and a long rod. All right, so this is basically your typical spotting flat. Um, you know, it's two and a half foot of water, almost three foot right here, uh, but up shallow, it's just, it's just gradually going up. There's hard bottoms. There's just all kinds of little gravel spots out here and just everything that makes a fish want to spawn on. So one of the reasons I'm throwing black and blue is for one, the water's dirty from all the rain. Two, you got overcast conditions, cloudy, and typically early in the morning, your darker colors work first, and then you transition to your more natural stuff as the day progresses. So, you know, when I first asked them to make these darker colors, they thought I was crazy. And I'm like, well, that's a pretty good fish right there. Look at that. Look how he eats that. I mean, that is. That is an early spring swim bait bass. It's not bad. Not a bad way to start the morning. All right. Let's go ahead and let that one go. I'm going to share with you guys more about this bait a little bit later, but um, this dude right here, it's four and a half inches. And uh, you can see how soft it is. I mean, this is one of the softest swim baits out there. It even has a little head action to it. It's got the body wiggle and the tail action. You're getting three actions in one. That is what you want in a swim bait. You feel it. If you're throwing a, a weight, uh, you know, like a belly weighted swim bait like this and you don't feel it, you're just not getting the action out of it you need. A lot of guys like bladed jigs this time of the year. The problem is bladed jigs get hung up a bunch. I mean, see that little log sticking up right here? If I throw a bladed jig over the top of it, I would sure hope that I'm reeling it just right so it can bounce right over the top without getting hung up. This will just kind of up and over it. And it really gets the fish's attention and they grab it. So that last fish actually came probably on a little piece of wood up here in a similar area. So, all right, obviously we're starting this off pre-spawn, you know. A belly weighted swim bait works excellent in the pre-spawn. But it also works from now pretty much all the way till winter. I mean, to the end of fall. And uh, it's a bait I'll have tied on for the rest of the season, for sure. You know, anytime you get a wind or something that pushes bait up shallow, this is an excellent, excellent technique. And again, that time of year, you know, obviously, obviously I'm gonna start going more natural shad presentations and stuff like that, kind of mimic, you know, what the bass are feeding on, on the, on the body of water I'm fishing, but. Got It's a little fella. I mean, a little, little bitty one. So don't be intimidated by this bait by any means. You're gonna catch everything on it. <laughs> Even little fellas like that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I mean, that, that might be one of the smallest bass in this whole entire lake. So this is how they come in the package, three in a pack. Um, we keep them so they're isolated and they don't scrunch the tails. So we're gonna go ahead and pull one out of here. The first thing you'll know is the American flag behind the background. These are all made right here in the USA. Proud of that.
Temecula, Temecula, California. So this is the Hayabusa 958. Because the water temperature is in that 57, getting close to 60, I went with a quarter ounce. Now this is a seven aught hook. I change out the springs on these and, and make a little bit uh, larger ones. When a fish grabs it, it doesn't just rip off the spring. So that's just a little trick that I do. Um, you can see the nose of this bait, it's real easy to see. Just go stab it right in the middle of that little square. And I scrunch the nose up, see how I scrunch it up? It's real soft, scrunch it up. And that just puts a lot of bulk around that screw. Now here's the key. I twist around, now don't worry about the eyeballs, they're gonna come off. So a lot of people are like, oh no, the eyeballs. Nah, the fish, it doesn't matter. What you wanna do is end the screw lock where it's horizontal from the nose. So that way the, the hook will swing side to side. You'll get a little more action out of that bait. And then we just drive this hook right on in like that. Keep the bait as straight as possible. And then you can even take the point and just to expose it just a little bit. Now you can throw it through any kind of cover. You're not gonna get hung up. Completely weedless and you're ready to fish it. Yeah, so I was just slow rolling it right here with some lily pad stems and uh, it's just a perfect little spawning flat pocket, you know. Honestly, it's not even so much fishing the lily pad stems, fishing where the lily pads grow are the hotter bottoms and that's where, that's where the fish spawn. So, I mean, the key for me, obviously, is trying to find those hard bottom areas that those fish are going to relate to to spawn. Um, and they're just a great indicator. <laughs> Like, hey, look at look at me. I'm a hard spot. Throw over here. So you can't really dissect the area. You just gotta keep firing around randomly and catch fish. So when that sun comes out and you got structure, they're probably relating right to that structure. Here with this overcast, they're gonna be a little random out here. All right, so the two rod and reel combos I'm using for the Boom Boom Swim Bait so are six gill rod and reel combos. We're using the Hamar eight to one ratio reel. Allows you to pick up that line really fast in the skinny water to get that hook driven in the fish and keep up with them so they don't uh, outrun you. The fin rear and by six gill, this is the green rod they got here and it's a seven foot six. We got on the six inch bait, we're using the heavy action. And then on the four inch bait, four and a half inch bait, we're using the medium heavy. Both are seven foot six. They're long enough to make the long cast and pick up that line. So when you do hook those fish, you got a better chance at uh, winning the battle. Having a fast reel, a long rod, is gonna increase your hookups and catch you a whole lot more fish. Throw on the boom boom swim bait. You know, think about this bait when you're throwing bladed jigs or lipless crankbaits or spinner baits. Anywhere you're throwing those baits, you can throw this and catch fish. Um, and it's just a little bit different, but you do actually get a lot of action on this bait, so don't let that mislead you. I can feel this bait when I'm reeling it in. It's a natural presentation, and um, it really has a little panic action in it. We've put a lot of time in designing this one to get it just right. <laughs> That's a beautiful fish. Right there on the boom boom swim bait. <laughs> That's nice. 